guys, my name's Jim. I am a 31 year old professional. All right, a quick history. I grew up in a suburb of Boston called Foxborough, Massachusetts. It's, uh, for anybody that's a football fan, the home of the New England Patriots. Pretty normal, pretty normal suburban life. Um, one brother, mom, dad, whole thing. You know, grew up in the, the regular three bedroom or four bedroom, two bath ranch. Um, in a quiet neighborhood, that whole thing. And yeah, pretty pretty uneventful uh, childhood, a lot of sports. I guess I would uh, love to be outside, love to play sports, love to compete. Um, I guess first hardship happened when I was when I was eight years old at a summer camp. And um, we were playing some wiffle ball. It was actually the last day of camp and uh, I actually took a rock off a wiffle ball bat to my right eye. And, Lost the vision in that eye. That was probably the only hardship uh, on the childhood. It doesn't affect me now. The, the brain is an amazingly smart muscle and it has totally um, adapted and my vision's fine just using the, the one good eye. So so no crying over spilled grapes there. Look at that, huh? Very nice. <laughs> so after that, um, continue with sports, moving on to, to high school, I guess I would identify as a jock walking here, thank you. And uh, yeah, played baseball, basketball, football, all the normal sports, and um, really became very involved with that. Had, had a lot of close friends um, through sports. And I guess 
at the time, I, I would say those relationships were pretty meaningful. We we connected over the, the love of team sports and also just kind of connecting over the things that, that teenagers deal with, right? Just kind of trying to find yourself in that age and being very socially awkward in that time. But we got through, we had a good time, a little bit of partying, but overall very good kids and had a great experience. Um, I did um, I did attend university, a four-year university at Plymouth State in New Hampshire. It's a um, small school, small state school, um, up near the ski mountains there. And very time, the, uh, the sports continued. I, I played uh, football there and again met, had a large group of of friends and just just through that sport and yeah still kind of similar to high school the also the journey of just kind of figuring things out right the, the pressure of we're all here and studying and then they're gonna kick you out and you're gonna find a, a career and kind of live life in the real world as as college kids put it so yeah, that was the story there. Um, I guess more into my youth, I, I was always pretty motivated to, to train for those sports. I was definitely the type that that practiced when not at practice, if you will. So getting in extra workouts and extra um, in sessions and things like that. And I was always pretty motivated off the field to work as well. Had a, um, a strong interest in making money from probably since I was maybe 15, 14, 15 started as small jobs like umpiring baseball games and whatnot and then led to like a, a store gig my, I think my first like real w2 job was a uh, CVS and uh, yeah don't always like the game of sort of watching your accounts grow if you will your bank accounts grow not, not so much never been a big spender but just kind of like that that feeling uh, of security that you get when you when your bank accounts start getting bigger and bigger. I remember in college being uh, being one of the, the few ones of my roommates who would uh, pay our landlord directly from me and not from their parents or anything like that. And I'd literally pay him in cash and, you know, the landlord would always laugh like, oh, Jim, what, what am I going to do with uh, 2600 bucks here uh, in cash when I go to the bank? They're going to think I'm up to no good or, or something like that. But yeah, always that, that game of, of making money always, always appealed to me, if you will. Um, yeah, then I guess as I got older, um, shortly after school, funny kind of walking down memory lane here in um, East Providence. After that, I had my, my first like real meaningful um, romantic relationship, and that took me here for a little while. And um, it, it was definitely nice to, to sort of have that. I'd always been kind of like the, the bachelor, jock, party guy, if you will. It was nice kind of to put that... Um, that character on the shelf a little bit and, and kind of like give yourself to one person and uh, so those those uh, mid-twenties also started a, a professional career and making a, a real income and having a real salary and, and that whole thing and that game of watching the accounts grow got, got a little funner and the accounts got a little bigger and um, and yeah so that that's basically uh, that's basically how it started. And then I would say uh, everything um, I've said so far, it seems a little like, you know, I mean, yeah, I was just doing kind of normal stuff, but um, I don't know, maybe getting closer to my 30s, I, I started thinking that uh, that doing everything maybe for yourself, always, you know, training and, and working out, I, I got into, in my, in my later 20s, the sport of triathlon, so totally totally developed and lost like 50 pounds and just swim bike run 20 hours a week totally engulfed um you know started with small ones and then all the way up to the Ironman distance and uh stuff like that but uh, but again another another sort of selfish endeavor um but it did open some good doors it it changed me um from what I ate and how I treated my body, if you will. So I, I kind of stopped, stopped being like, like I said, the, the party guy. Kind of um, not like I don't quit alcohol, but I just I don't drink to I don't over drink anymore, just because you know you, you don't feel good the next morning, and it's better to feel good than than not to feel good. 
and then I kept experimenting, wanted to, wanted to lose more weight, get leaner, get stronger, recover faster, so I started, um, started uh, a new diet trend, and um, what worked best for me was a whole food, plant-based diet, you can call it a vegan diet if you will, um, but yeah, that was totally for, for reasons to, to go faster as a triathlete, right, to be leaner in the water, to be lighter on the bike and dance up climbs, to be super light on the run and, and run like a deer, right, and, uh, and it worked, <laughs> it worked really well, I lost a lot of weight, and I, I felt great, um, mentally, physically, everything, and, and that opened some doors, and I started learning more about, you know, animal cruelty, and the effects, the effects that, uh, sorry about the wind here, the effects that animal agriculture has on the environment, right, um, like things that, that you just, that just running in that circle you learn, and, and I made some great connections through that, just kind of going to meetings with, with advocacy groups, and, um, just the, the, the whole crowd was just basically a lot of people helping a lot of people. Hold on, I'm going to uh, pipe down while I let this this wind die down a bit. I don't know if you guys can see the views over here, but nah, Scotty doesn't want to doesn't want to go on that side. Here we go. Now you should get it. That's the river. Uh, yeah, so this, uh, I, I found a whole group of, of people that basically they had, they had, um, they had helped themselves, like they, they found veganism, they, they found the effects that, that a plant-based diet could have on them, and they wanted to share that with others, and they wanted people to feel better, they wanted their fellow, fellow humans to be healthier, happier, and they also, and they also wanted, um, to help the environment, and that was just a crowd that I could really get involved with, and that led to, like, what else can we do to, to help the climate, and, and to make this place better for humans, and and also all my time on the on the roads, biking and running, it, it sort of led to, it led to getting away from cars, and, and that whole thing, and that advocacy, so this is the next chapter, it's going to be about helping other people, and it's right now, it's through advocacy, and we're going to pick a way that that what I do can can live beyond me. So so that's the goal and that's my background and let's follow along.